Good morning. Time to check what's happening on Twitter. Okay, hello, Steven. I want to buy recommend. No, dude. I wouldn't recommend a Goliath for a first tarantula. New tarantula looks amazing. Thanks, thanks, Leah. All right, let's check out what's the update. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. What's the total? One point. 5 million. Yo, what is up with the US, man? That is insane. All right, time to go get my morning sh <laughs> Yes, I do it every morning. Gotta turn off the aircon first. Oh man, there's no towel. Time for Time for a shower. Bed in a mess, but that's okay. Gotta open this door, let some fresh air come in. Hey guys. Oh man, you guys poop a lot. This was literally like after a few hours. No. There you go. Don't worry, this place dries up within 15 minutes. Ooh, the pond is actually clean. I mean, it's still green, but I mean, it's cleaner. Hello. Gotta check on the tarantulas. Ooh, the aircon is already on. I think my dad turned on the aircon because I mean, over here it gets pretty hot. So yeah, the aircon comes on and allows the teas to not overheat because I mean, as you can see with aircon, it's like 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Without aircon, it gets about 89 degrees. So a lot of the teas, they kind of dehydrate. I've lost quite a few teas from the heat wave. So yeah, that's not good. I've got the aircon on 20 degrees Celsius and I leave it on for about four hours from about 12 p.m. till about 4 p.m. So so yeah, every day I'll just come in and check every tea one by one, see how's everyone doing, any diet, nope, no one did. There's my Guatemala Tiger Rom, everyone's doing super well, so that is awesome. Now I've got some calcium powder over here, we're gonna get some Dubia Roaches and feed Elvark. As you can see, they are being gut loaded with pumpkins, so I'll take the ones that have been kind of gut loaded. That looks to be good. I don't feed Alvar a lot because I don't want him to get super obese. So yeah, I feed him a couple roaches and then I give him vegetables. But today's not vegetable day, so it's just roaches. Gonna need my tongue. Let's go. Hey Alvar, what you doing? Yep, you're hungry. <laughs> See, usually the sun, it comes out all the way to his wood, so he gets natural sunlight every day. Whoa, dude, can you please? <laughs> I've got your roaches here. I've got your roaches here. Hey, Gil. Here you go. You've got some with nice calcium. You want it? You want it? Yep, come on. There we go. Here's another one. There we go. And that's the last one. Good boy, Albert. Good boy. See, a lot of calcium on your mouth. Gotta clean that out. As you can see, Elvark is a very, very nice size. He's not obese like a lot of people's bearded dragons. He is just, yeah, he's the perfect size. And he is now four years old. You are getting old, Elvark. You're a big boy. Oh yeah, I forgot to check on the scorpions. So scorpions seem to be, they all seem to be doing pretty well. There's my big Parabuthus transvalicus. Yep, everyone seems to be doing pretty good. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys asked the update on the Ants Canada Emperor Scorpion. I actually did rehouse him into this because the previous enclosure usually burrows super deep so I'm not able to track his feeding. So yeah, every time I throw in roaches, I'm not sure if he eats. So I prefer to put him in something like this temporarily for now so I can monitor his feeding a little bit he's usually under this height there he is hey little dude whoa <laughs> super pissed off man all right you can uh whoa okay yo okay calm down dude i just wanted to show you the people jeez man okay so guys he's doing super well and super uh grumpy as well so yeah that's my emperor scorpion we've got all the slings up here everyone's doing super well there we go uh yeah we've got some juveniles over here as well which is gonna need rehousing really soon i'll do a separate video on that and oh yeah we do have a oh my gosh this thing is so difficult so hard oh yeah we've got a plant over here so every day i just come in and just give it a quick water 
Oh, my dad just tossed him some carrots. All right, that's it for the tarantula room for today. I mean, I will come back in tonight to check on everyone again and of course to turn off the aircon if the timer doesn't go off by itself. I'm gonna check on the snakes. Rouge, you're doing good? Yep, you are. Okay, you. You. What's up? Okay. Okay. Bye. Time to feed the flower horn. Got some flower horn pellets over here. Oh, you didn't finish some food. Hey, what's the... Hand sanitizer. All right, now I'm gonna have to bring my laptop down and then I'll have lunch and then I'll do my work. Do you not want to eat? Why not? Just walk around, enjoy the view, have a seat, and just chill. Oh, my dad feeds the fish. That's why you didn't see me feed the fish today. Turtles! And a catfish. Whoa! There's a turtle right there. I didn't see that. Two giant gouramis. And a plecko catfish right there. Yeah guys, this is basically what I do. Nothing. Just chill and relax. I'll also sit on this bench. So yeah, back in the tea room again and well, nothing really much has changed. All the teas are still chilling. They're usually out just after midnight or like 1 a.m., 2 a.m. Yeah, that's when they're out. But as for now, it's still daytime. So those who don't have burrows are pretty much, yeah, they're out. But those who have burrows are in. So yeah, that is basically it for my day, you guys. Like every single day. So that's what I do. I wake up. I take my, uh, I sit on my throne in the toilet. I take a shower. Um, I come down. I have lunch. I play RuneScape. I do some editing work, I take a nap, I walk around the garden and just, yeah, that is pretty much it for my whole day. <sighs> Quarantine life sucks, you guys, but you know, we gotta do this because, yeah, you don't want to get the thing, you guys know. So, yeah, that's basically it. I clean the animals, feed the animals, and after this, we're gonna have dinner. And then I'll take another shower and probably watch something on Netflix and then go to sleep. Zena. And of course, we chill with Xena. <laughs> Zena. Hi. Zena. Got to spray the teas. So basically, I just open this and I just use this. And so I do this for all the teas. 
So yeah, as you can see, this side pretty much just done. Now I gotta do this side. Just a few I've done. Just gotta complete some of them and I'm gonna go head upstairs, take a shower. And by the way, for those who don't know, I'm spraying them down because over here it's like super hot. So the water actually lowers down the temperature in the enclosure itself. So even the tarantulas that don't require super high humidity or dampness, I still miss them a bit to lower down the temperature. So yeah, everything's pretty much done and that is pretty much it for today for the tarantula room. So now basically I just turn off the lights and close the door and turn off the snake room light as well and close the door. Pack my laptop, got to bring it back up to my room. Alright, there we go. Close this door, don't want the mosquitoes to come in. Okay, turn on the aircon. Back on the laptop again. So now I'll pretty much do whatever, browse the web, watch YouTube, watch a Netflix or something. I don't know, I'll call my girlfriend and yeah, that's pretty much what we're gonna do for about, um, now it's 9.39, so I don't know, maybe till about 12, 12 to one. Yeah, that's what I'm probably gonna do. So guys, I just watched some Netflix stuff and now it is currently 12, no, no, no yeah. 12.38. Wait, wait, what? This clock is spoiled. What the hell? Okay, let me see the kitchen clock. Yep, it's about, yeah, it is almost 1 a.m. So yeah, guys, that's it for the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just a day in my life of this quarantine thing. Nothing really exciting going on in my life, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead, sleep, get some water, and yeah, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. And of course, stay safe. Thank <laughs> you.